Dear future gunshot victim, I want to apologize for your violent death. Not only will the bullets that will rip into your body end your life, but the lives of those who love you will be devastated. Your family, friends, neighbors, first responders, none will be the same. I don't know the exact circumstances of how you will be shot. Maybe you will be in your elementary school, at a restaurant, in your work cubicle, or on your front porch at a store or in your car. You may be killed with many others. Maybe you will be alone. You may be shot by a stranger, a spouse, or a coworker, but your death is certain. I regret to add that no matter how tender your age, the number of people killed and injured with you, the horrific nature of your killing, there will be no good time in Congress to talk about your death. Let's face it, if Congress wouldn't act after 21st graders were executed in their classroom, they will certainly not start with you. Instead, they will offer their thoughts and prayers, but Congress will do nothing to change this bloody course. I do not know if your death was preventable, but I do know the majority in Congress did not bother to try. The gun lobby's thirst for money and profits wins every time, and you will lose everything. You have seen this grisly ritual many times, but there is something you will not see. Your death and the deaths of thousands of others will ignite action. While politicians file into their respective chambers to feign concern with yet another moment of silence, crowds will thunder outside the Capitol. These are your fellow Americans who have vowed to truly honor you. They are joined by the vast majority of Americans who have the will to reduce gun violence, even as Congress stands in the way. As moments of silence have festered into decades of inaction, one thing has become clear. Congress will not change, so we must change Congress. We will elect leaders who agree that we can both reduce gun violence and respect the rights of responsible gun owners. Change will come. We will remain steadfast and pour our collective grief into ensuring it. I am just so sorry that change won't come in time for you.